Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're giving you guys a quick update on BTT. We haven't actually talked about BTT for a few days here. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a daily update on what's been going on. So if we do see, obviously we know we've hit that high of about 0 0.0135 and ever since we hit that high, we came crashing back down and now we've kind of been consolidating in this range over the last few days. So this is a daily chart on Binance and if I take that Fibonacci retracement tool, we can really see what the levels are. So if I take the high, the previous high, and I go all the way down to that low, which would be right around here, um, which we hit about a few days ago, we would literally see what we are looking at right now. So basically this tool allows you to kind of see the support and the resistance level kind of at the same time. And when you are in a downtrend, which we are right now on BTT, you want to take that uh, high end and go all the way to the bottom of your, uh, of your downtrend. So that would be the bottom here. And we do see that right now the bottom is sitting really close to 0 0.007. And that is exactly what we hit on uh, April 13th here so we definitely do see there was a lot of support here and that's kind of why we bounced up and now we do see that there's a lot of resistance around that 0 0.0085 so this is where we basically are right now so from that big pop uh, on April 4th we literally saw a 100% retracement uh, which we saw on April 13th it went all the way back to the previous um, low before that big candle so basically basically 100% retracement we found support there and now we've bounced back up but we're basically finding resistance around that 23% retracement from that initial big pop. So if we do consolidate here and we find support and we, we really need to hold that support of 0 0.007. So what I do see in the next couple of days, if we do hold this support of 0 0.007, we are probably going to start trending upwards here. And if I just extend this to give you guys more of a view and put a brush, um, we are basically probably, uh, going to bounce off this again and then go up test this resistance and find this as support and continue kind of trending up here testing resistance and finally getting those resistance to be some sort of support and trending all the way upwards to uh, finally go and test those uh, all-time highs now obviously this is going to be key on what we do end up holding here so if we end up holding that 0 0.007 this is going to be very good for BTT and now I am you just brushing up this sketch now if we look at another run from the previous low to the previous high um, and I just I'm just gonna zoom in here so you guys can see a bit better um, but basically what we had here and I would really recommend you guys looking at this Fibonacci tool it's really good a uh, really good tool to kind of give you guys the levels that you would need um, for your analysis so if I basically draw the previous high which is here and when you do draw your Fibonacci tool you want to be consistent so it's either you take the top tick and the bottom tick or you you take the body of the candle uh, both on the upward and downward trend so you can't go from the top wick to the body of the candle because that's not going to give you uh, accurate levels so in my case I go from the top uh, tick all the way to the bottom tick and so that previous low was right around here which is this candle here I'm not gonna I, I can't zoom in here um, so basically this candle here um, and if I zoom back out here, we definitely do see that this is kind of where we're consolidating around that 0 0.0382. So around this level, which acts as support during this bullish run. So we are retracing and finding support on these levels. So definitely key here, guys, watch out for the next few days. Definitely we want to hold that level of 0 0.007 as support. And if it doesn't, then there is probably going to be a bigger correction, but but if we do hold it, then look for those levels to act as resistance as we continue trending upwards and breaking through those resistance to finally test them as support. So guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's video. Uh, we are using the Fibonacci tool here. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. It is a very interesting tool and a very helpful tool to find those levels of support and resistance. So guys, please like the video if you found any value in the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.